Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 10. Sorry for the late upload again. Anyway, answer, but the owls are still around to this guy, and you'll be letting the timber. And we'll be on our way to Galbadia. Now, here's the thing. The reason why this upload was two days late. Teamwork projects. Yeah, yeah, I know, I shouldn't be doing recordings if I have teamwork projects, but this one actually came out of the blue. Literally. I did not have this. I mean, I was in the process of clearing out data so I could record uh, for Sailor Moon Another Story and also record uh, part 11 and 12, but then teamwork project. And, of course, you know how those go. Anyway, <clears throat> Zone tries to be nice to Squall. Big mistake. Again, only word Squall knows is whatever, ellipses, and silence. However, Zell, the nicest guy on the team, gets blown off. And also, we are introduced to Watts. Who, by the way, is sort of like an offshoot of Wants, which is later on shown in 10. But Watts is, well, so technically this is Watts' first appearance, but he shows up in Kingdom Hearts as a character. So yeah, if you're wondering where Watts came from, look no further from than this game. Now, we are tasked also with a mission to wake up our sleeping princess and our next party member. Oh, God damn it! I already said I need a, an adult before. Now, we're gonna need an adult. Because, you know, uh, when waking up women... Oh, 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 and this guy fakes a stomach injury like Hercule. What the hell? Seriously? I should punch you! <sighs> well, nobody's gonna do it. And selfies to uh, dead set on trains. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to wake her up. See, see, I don't like it when you're forcing a relationship on me. Oh, by the way, save room. Make sure you get there and do that lots. Save it anytime you can before and after the next event that's coming up in part 11. God damn, that event. I'm not trying to be a uh, negative Nancy here, but uh, it is a little bit tricky on Steam than it is on PlayStation 1. <clears throat> it is because the numbers are marked 1, 2, 3, and 4. You kind of don't know how what 1, 2, 3, and 4 are. But anyway, this is Renoa. We already were introduced to her in part 6. Wearing that incredibly skimpy dress, using the Jedi mind trick, and making us fall on our asses while trying to ballroom dance. And by the way, no shit Sherlock, Squall is a seed. Yeah, you should have noticed that, but I, oh, wait, what the hell? Oh lord! Ellipses! Ellipses! I need an adult! I need an adult! Yeah, he almost broke Squall's neck there, but here's the thing. <clears throat> Renola is now going to be on our party. I don't know what level Renola is for the time being. I'll find out by the end of this part. But one thing is clear. That Pet Pals magazine that we happen to got, that's for her. I'm pretty sure there's another Pet Pals magazine around here somewhere. But we'll soon find out exactly what those Pet Pal magazines are for. Okay, you know what? Might as well just tell you. Because once this cutscene is over, Renoa's gonna be on the party. You see, Renoa's a special case. And by special, I mean not only does she have weapons, but her limit break is her dog. We'll be soon meeting her. Him pretty soon. Yeah, him. Uh, anyway, her limit break actually includes her dog, 
where her dog does random attacks if she's low on health. The thing is, in order for to get all of her limit breaks, you need Pet Pals magazine. Which is why I said Renoa is a lot different from Selfie and Zell and Quistus. Quistus gets hers when items dropped. Zell gets his already. You just gotta continue the chain. Selfie, it's random until you get the end. Another guy, you'll need a certain amount of bullets. And for him, oh, and for Renoa, like I said, you need the Pet Pals magazine. So we're gonna have to continue to talk to Renoa in order for her to get her to come back with us. So here's the deal with Renoa. She also has a boomerang. And remember, I picked up Weapons Mag April. Weapons Mag April actually has her first primary weapon available. As well as, you know what, I shouldn't just, I shouldn't hide it. It's gonna be Irvin. Irvin's gonna be appearing later on. Everybody knows that guy. Oh, and speaking of which, I would name her something else. I really would. But you know what? I'm not. Honestly, I would be a very evil guy and call her basic. But I'm not. Because I'm a little bit more mature than that. But then again, there's seven letters. I could call her Fem Nazi, but 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 but, but, but Renoa's fine. Renoa's fine. Anyway, <clears throat> and who are you talking about, Squall? I mean, uh, seat members dance perfectly. You literally threw him around the damn ballroom in part six. Oh boy. I don't know about Renoa's personality. One time it's serious, other time she's just joking. I'm not too sure about her. But this is her partner, Angelo. Angelo will... Yeah, Angelo is her limit break, actually. And I do believe she's also her summoning. I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, but... Renoa... It's a very delicate case. Oh wait, she's at level six? Oh god damn it! And I'm not sure this game actually shares attributes or abilities. And if that's the case, well, Renoa's really gonna have to level up. <laughs> I really don't want to put Renoa in the battle. Because she's at a low level. I mean, I could bring her on the overworld, but not in the actual battle. I mean, that would be just stupid. Because all the enemies are between level 18 and level 15. She's only level 6. Yeah, she'll get mad experience points, but she'll get crushed. Oh, God. I mean, I understand starting off at six, seven, or eight early on in the game, but when you're in a part, but would you have a game where I'm not complaining? I'm just, say I'm just actually making a statement here. And you have a game where the levels match the enemies' levels, or should I say the enemies' levels match the main character's level or the party leader's level? Everyone else, while they may get more experience points, <coughs> excuse me. They will <clears throat> get the short end because their attacks is pretty darn powerful. And I haven't even gotten a GF for her just yet. Not going to either. Ah, oh, you stupid cat. Excuse me one second. Sorry about that. The pet pals that we picked up had... Angelo Strike as opposed to Angelo Rocket, which I happen to which happened to be in the uh demonstration. So what you want to do is go to Renoa. Hold on, let's go to status, go to Renoa. Oh, she's a level eleven now. Okay, that's still not good, but it's better than being level six. Now, uh once you put it on Angelo Strike, 
from there, Renoa can actually help the dog learn new tricks during battle. I gotta get into a battle with her to show that off. But for right now, we've got work to do. And that work is the operation we were sent here to do. Which is the hardest thing in the series. No, we're actually uh, going through the rundown of it first. The actual mission itself is part 11, like I said. And that's what's taking me so long. The many attempts as well. Because this thing is hard. Well, for me, if I'm playing this on PC, because of how the layout of the buttons are. <clears throat> Which, basically, everyone also volunteers Cloud, I'm not Cloud, I'm um, Squall, sorry. Why did I say Cloud? Everybody will volunteer Squall in order to, uh, get the, uh, security codes for the train. And that's the hard part we're doing. We're capturing Vincer the Ling, the president of Galbadia, and he's on a personal train. So their elaborate scheme is to take the front train and the back to replace it with their train in a decoy train so they can, uh, wait, what the hell is wrong? All oh, right, explosive fetish. She wants to blow the train up with a rocket launcher. Yeah. Someone's a little bit too psychotic for seeds. Someone's a little bit too anxious either. I mean, too. Because Zell is like, get to the point! The point they want to do is just switch the train out with theirs so they can pretty much capture the president and hold him hostage. <clears throat> That's the whole gist. So basically what they want to do is hook the dummy car and the base car together and disassemble the back uh, engine. Well, the actual, uh, first escort from the president's car. And pretty much get rid of the, uh, second escort. It's a well thought out strategy, save for the button configurations, but that's not the point. Point of the matter is, it is a well thought out strategy. Nothing could possibly go wrong. <clears throat> All right. We're basically going to, and also, well, this is a stealth mission as well. So, yay. What we're going to be doing in part 11 is sneaking on the roof of the president's car and you are going to uncouple the uh, links on the first car. And if you don't move fast, well, as Selfie says, boom, game over. Then. Once then they'll have the dummy car and the base car uh, pretty much replacing everything. Then you have to uncouple not only the dummy car, but also the second car. So, in other words, it's a three-step plan. No, it's a seven-step plan with a three-step process. And the problem with the process is, we have one, a five minute time limit, and two, you've got to be precise as to how you're going to actually get this car undone. <clears throat> I mean... People say it's too easy, but no, it's not. 
You only have a small window of opportunity to uncouple the cars. Not to mention the guards themselves. The guards will have a temperature sensor and the red, no, the blue guards will have a temperature sensor and the red guards will have a stationary sensor. In other words, if you don't move when you see blue guards, you'll be caught on spot. If you see... No, if you see a red guard and they happen to catch you, you have to run. No, no, you'll have to run before they catch you, sorry. So, yeah. That's basically the gist. Does that sound easy? No, no it's not. I know a lot of people who've done this on the first try, but I also know a lot of people who had trouble with this. Hold on one second. There we go. So now they're gonna test out the codes. Now, if you're using Steam, these are the but or or a controller basically. These are the buttons: B1, B2, B3, and B4. So you have to be really fast. <clears throat> However, it also depends on what order. You, or, or what, uh, yeah, it all depends on what order you have your keys set. <laughs> and unfortunately, I forgot to take mine off of customization, which is what screws me over. Yeah. This is going to be very, very painful to watch. I will say this though, I if once I get it, which will take me a while, but once I get it, I will have it recorded. And from there, I'll show off what happens afterwards. Oh man, can't believe I ran into such a slump. But, until I do, I'll buy myself enough time, and I will have uh, Sailor Moon, another story, uh, showing up on Wednesday and Thursday, so I can finish the last two parts, well, Thursday, Friday, or Friday and Saturday, whichever one comes first. I'm gonna have to uh, fix the controls off-screen. And Zone and uh, Watts ditch everyone. So in other words, we're going to have to talk to Watts in order for this mission to work. And also, we're going to have to arrange everything, and that will explain why I wasn't able to get everything right. This is going to be fixed. I promise you, this is going to be fixed. Now then. Uh, yeah. I see that this is going to be a huge problem. So I want to try to, uh, check to see which button is which. I'll try it like this. No, not like this. Hold on, hold on. I just need one, two, yeah, like that. That's what I'm gonna try to do. No, no, you idiot. Exit out, exit out, damn it. Thank you. All right, we're gonna have to save. And he's still holding his stomach like a dumbass. All right. Not talking to you yet, because that will start the mission. 
So until then, I'll see you guys in part 11, but for the time being, I'll be playing Sailor Moon Another Story, part uh, 7 and 8. This is RV Man 985. See you.